Hello, this is Tessa here with Courtney, and today we're going to be doing a massage for the IT bands, the hamstrings, and um, and with a little relaxation. So, going right in um, without oil to start, I'm gonna just start with some um, you know medium pressure compressions in the glutes. I really like starting with the glutes, the release travels down the leg and it also travels into the low back. And to start, I'm not holding for super long periods or um, applying maximum pressure, maybe like a 5 out of 10. And just paying attention to spots that feel a little more contracted. And making sure that my wrist is straight, as straight as possible. When your wrist is bent, it can put a lot of pressure on the joints. And I'm gonna start to increase the pressure a little bit and hold for a little longer in the spots that feel more contracted. And always when I'm going in with compressions, I don't start with max pressure. I really start lightly and then gradually increase And I'm gonna see what's going on with this IT band. And I'm just using the heel of my hand to do some just light compressions to see how everything feels. And I'm actually bringing my hand all the way up above the hip joint. That's where the IT band attaches. And sometimes if the hips feel a little extra tight, we'll do just some gentle shaking it can help to release some of that tension in the hip joint. And I'm going to go in with a little more pressure. The IT band is generally tightest. So it starts just below the knee and it ends just above the hip. So it's usually the tightest in the middle. It's good to spend a little extra time. And Courtney's hips feel a little bit tight. So putting a good amount of pressure just right in that hip joint. And I'm gonna start in with some compressions in the hamstrings. And always you wanna warm up the soft tissue. You don't wanna just dive right into the deep tissue. It's really important to warm everything up. And compressions are a great way to Increase blood flow and warm up the soft tissue. And I'm going to go in with my oil. I always try to make my movements pretty smooth and not choppy. And 
And I actually like working with um, lotion better, but it's got to be a really good kind of lotion. So I'm not really putting much pressure at all, just getting the oil on and kind of starting to work the soft tissue. And you want to be careful of applying too much oil, it can be really hard to get any traction on the muscles, so I'm just using the right amount. And a lot of people like working with stacked hands. This is not my favorite way to work, but sometimes if I'm working on someone with a smaller frame, it's a nice way to work. So right now I'm just warming everything up. starting to increase the pressure with a nice soft fist. So as I um, work in this position, I'm trying to work from my core as much as possible. So my, my um, hand is just an extension of the strength in my core. And that way I don't, I don't need to worry about getting too tired or hurting my wrist. And this upward work towards the heart um, is actually really good for the heart and the lymphatic system. And if you have someone that's a little bit ticklish, usually more pressure is better than less. So right now I'm kind of scanning Courtney's muscles and seeing where she needs the more detailed work. And I really try to conserve um, my energy and thumb work is a little more strenuous. So I'm going in with my thumbs together and I'm just going to start stripping this hamstring muscle. I'll let just working my way up. This is great for people that run or who are very active. It helps to just strip away the excess lactic acid. Really, it's good for just about anybody. One thing that you do need to be a little careful of is if somebody has varicose veins, you never want to put um, a lot of pressure. And I'm just working my way up, finding a nice steady pace, not going too fast or too slow. And the sequence of what I'm doing is really important. Um, each muscle group is gonna, you know, be more open to releasing because of the one that was worked on before. So I'm going into the IT band now. And just be um, sure that you're not too hunched over and you're working from your core as much as you can. And Courtney's IT man feels fairly tight, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. And like I was saying, um, her IT band in the middle is 
feels a lot more contracted than anywhere else. There are a lot of different ways that you can work the IT band effectively. This is really simple, but it's actually my favorite way to get into the IT band. So like I was saying, my favorite way to work the IT band is with the heel of my hand. I feel like it's the most effective way to, you know, apply firm pressure, but it's not super overwhelming. If you want to get in there in a little, um, with a little more detail, you can actually pull your thumbs away from each other. Um, I just find that this takes a lot of pressure and it kind of is tiring when the way that I showed before is just probably more effective anyway. But um, I'm going to go ahead and move to the opposite side and doing basically the same sequence on this side going in with some compressions to start. And it takes some practice, but as the body worker, you want to use um, both of your hands. So on Courtney's left side, I was using my right hand, and now I'm using my left hand. It's just really good for um, having more endurance. And just going in with some compressions. spending a little more time in the areas that feel more tight. And it's kind of um, hard to see, but like I was saying on the other side, I'm gradually increasing my pressure as I hold the compression. You'll probably notice that one side is more tight. Pretty, pretty typical. Some people really like um, gentle rocking, and other people don't. But it's certainly very healthy for the hip joints. It's also good for um, IT band. And the second time up, I am applying just a little bit more pressure. And my wrist is a little bent, but I'm just really being mindful of working from my core. And Courtney's hamstring on the right feels a little bit tighter. So I'm just kind of lingering here. I'm going in with my oil. I find that um, it's a little easier to be smoother in my strokes with lotion, but a lot of people really like oil. applying the um, oil, I'm working the soft tissue just very, very lightly. And 
And again, it's easier to do, for me anyways, stacked um, hands on someone that has a smaller frame. But trying to do this on like a big man would be very hard. And just starting to go in with a little more pressure. Just notice if the muscle underneath your hand is gripping, then maybe you're working a little too um, deeply or even too lightly. And Courtney's hamstring is fairly tight. I'm going in with some nice, firm um, work that's definitely getting into the deeper tissue. And I'm shaking my my um, thumbs a little bit. It's a nice distraction technique and sometimes it's just a nice way to work. You can go straight up but it can feel a little, a little intense. And moving in with the heel of my hand, moving into this IT band. Ooh. And it's definitely a little tight. So with the IT band, you want to, even when you're warming, warming up that tendon, you want to use a good bit of pressure. Sometimes light pressure can feel a little ticklish. And yeah, the middle of that IT band is pretty bound up. Sometimes if there's a lot of contraction, I will actually do like little mini strokes upward and really try to um, just lengthen everything. And if someone is feeling um, really tight, it's nice to include just some something that feels good in between. And just one more, going a little bit slower. Working my way up. I think that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you come back and see us again soon. If you enjoy these videos, please join us at PsycheTruthPatrons.com for dozens of exclusive videos and premium programs. We have over a thousand videos you won't find on YouTube, such as modeling and fashion hauls, exclusive massage videos, ASMR, behind the scenes, bloopers, and much more. It's a great way to help us keep the cameras rolling so we can continue making the content you love. Patrons will get two to three new exclusive videos each week, so I hope you'll consider joining our Patreon family today. Just visit PsycheTruthPatrons.com. Join us for 14 and 30-day programs, hour-long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.